getting everything ready for an overnighter I'm about to do on the kayak. So I'm going to show you what I'm packing here going by the 10 C's. So number one is our cutting tool. I've got uh, this BPS knife I just got. Um, me packing a hatchet and a little folding saw for this one. Number two is combustion here in that category. That includes my uh, stove. And then I have my fire roll here, which has got a lighter, Vaseline cotton ball fire starters, and a ferro rod. That just flips down there, folds up just like that. As far as cover, um, I'll be using the 9x9 Tent Smith's oil skin tarp for my shelter. And then uh, for a sleep system, I have this queen size uh, wool blanket from Cabela's. And then for sleeping on, I'll be using this canvas bed sleeve and making a raised bed with it. So for a container, I have a single wall stainless steel water bottle um, and then two cups that nest together. That goes inside there. And then I have the lid for the big pot as well as a pot hanger, which goes inside there. And that's all contained like that. Next brings us to cordage. Um, cordage will be in my stake bag. I have about 100 foot of number 36 bank line there. And then my ridge line, or this is 50 foot of paracord, so plenty extra if I need it. My stakes for my shelter are also in here. So that is all contained in the stake bag. Now for a candling device, I have the Yuko candle lantern, uh, one of my favorite uh, items or pieces of gear that I have. And then just an energizer headlight, takes three AAA batteries, very simple headlight, just high, low, and off. Um, nothing fancy there. And then in here, I have an extra candle as well as extra batteries for the headlight. And that all is contained in this bag. And for number seven on the 10 C's, cotton material. I have one bandana here, and then this one that I wear around my neck. Now for compass, I won't be venturing too far out, but I am bringing my compass. And then I have my maps, um, kind of like a hand-drawn map really for where I will be going out on the lake. Cargo tape I actually have wrapped around the lighter that I keep in my fire roll. And I will add that in addition to the lighter that's in my fire roll there, I also keep an extra in my pocket. And that is the very basic 10 C's covered there. So now outside of that, you go to comfort and convenience and food. So for food, I'm trying out this Santa Fe black beans and rice meal I got from Cabela's. Just felt like trying something out. Got a salt and pepper shaker, some oatmeal for the morning, plenty of coffee, some hot chocolate. And then also, I throw a little like candy, like Jolly Ranchers in there. I just find that if you start getting hungry to kind of stave off your appetite and not go through a lot of food if you like to snack like I do, it helps to throw some candy in there. And then comfort and convenience. Uh, I have my Sawyer water filter here. I also just got this. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to use this. I can boil water in my stainless steel water bottle, sure. Um, but when all you have to do is scoop up some water and you just squeeze it through this filter, you can't really beat that. I'll show you how this works. So you can use pretty much any bottle with those kind of threads. Um, and you just screw it on there. You squeeze it and out comes filtered water. And then in addition to comfort and convenience, got the pillow, okay? <laughs> Don't forget the pillow. Since I'm gonna be kayaking, I'm using this soft pack so that I can shove it into the back of the kayak um, rather than using my external frame pack like I like to use a lot. Also, all this stuff is gonna go into this pack. Um, if I'm doing something like this with a soft pack, I'll kind of fold up the oil skin tarp and put that in first. And that kind of gives a structure to the pack and then everything else will go in there after that. The wool blanket I've got rolled up with just a piece of 550 cord that goes through the middle as I rolled it up. 
and I'll just carry that separately on my shoulder. Other than that, I'll have an extra pair of boxers and an extra pair of socks. So this is all what's coming with me for this trip. Uh, click this video here and we'll hit the water and we'll put it all into use.